Hello avid royal watchers, welcome back to the channel. In today's news, by now we certainly don't need to tell you about the coronavirus pandemic or the devastating impact it's having on just about every aspect of life in all corners of the world. The US, specifically New York, is the hardest hit area thus far, but few countries have escaped the effects of its worsening global health crisis. In the UK, for example, two very prominent figures contracted COVID-19 in the span of a few days, a development that sent a frightening message to the rest of the populace about the pernicious nature of the disease. First, Prince Charles tested positive, and while the 71-year-old is said to be recovering nicely at Balmoral Castle in Scotland, news that an elderly member of the royal family had contracted the illness sent waves of panic throughout the UK. Shortly thereafter, the world learned that UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson had contracted the illness as well. Clearly, this is a time in which public policy is not enough to curb the spread of the illness. Public figures with no concrete political powers are being called upon to set an example and help to quell the widespread panic that's creating further chaos in many cities. In the UK, the sudden leadership vacuum at the top has created an immediate need for guidance from people who are trusted by the countrymen. And who better to take the reins than Kate Middleton and Prince William? Insiders say that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have come to look at the pandemic as their first major opportunity to show the British people that they're leaders, not socialites. Kate and William are facing the biggest challenge of their lives, and preparations to step up and lead the royal family are well underway. A source close to the situation that tells the Aussie tabloid Women's Day. Not only is this one of the most testing times in history, but also one of the most difficult for them as a family, the insider adds. With the Queen and Prince Charles effectively out of action for many months to come, the burden is now falling squarely on William and Kate. With Meghan Markle and Prince Harry having recently moved to Los Angeles, this is essentially the British equivalent of Home Alone. But it seems that the Cambridges are fully prepared to take on the pandemic and its attendant economic anxiety which we would guess would be Daniel Stern and Joe Pesky in this analogy, or something. They accept their roles and are determined to fulfill them, but at the same time, there is a certain amount of trepidation, says the source. All this is happening much faster than they could have ever imagined. We think it's safe to say that Will and Kate are not alone in their feelings, that this is all so much, and it's unfolding much too quickly. We wish them all the best in their efforts to help flatten the curve. That's all for today's news. Thank you very much for listening, and I'll see you next video.